Hey everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at a persona generator chat, which is capable of generating elaborate persona definitions, such as like a quantum physicist, scientist, philosopher, or a perfect idea generator. And when we run this code, we get to select from available personas, or we can generate a new one. Let's go ahead and select, for example, the scientist philosopher, and we can ask, who are you? And we see that it's responding. As I'm an intellectual explorer who bridges the realms of science and philosophy. Let's ask, what do you wonder about the most? It wonders about nature of consciousness, its relationship to physical reality. I found that this really works well. I was inspired by the clouds prompt maker, but that actually creates prompts for almost more technical use cases. But this is when you have a detailed prompt like this, it actually makes the conversation flow so much smoother. As we've said, we can actually type in a command called restart and then go back and select a different persona or create a new one. Let's say a coding genius. And now it's going to create a persona. Once this is created, it will be saved under personas.json, after which time we will be able to uh, select it. Once, it, once it's uh, generated, it asks us if you want to save it. You can go ahead and read it and say no if you like, if you don't like it. But we're going to go ahead and say yes. And as you can see, we've saved this coding genius persona, and now we are talking with it. Like I say, who are you? It says that I'm a coding expert with extensive knowledge. As you can see, that these are pretty detailed and code files for this, including a GPT class that I've created just for this project alone. We're going to talk about the code here in a moment and the main.py, plus how I built this, uh, this program in Cursor using the Cursor's AI functionality. In my 1000x dev masterclass, which I just updated today, and I also have six other videos uh, coding walkthroughs. This is, I think, my yet. You can download the code files here and also the walkthrough videos for each one of these projects, hoping to accelerate our coding ability. So the link will, for that will be in the description. So let's see how we are able to managing this by reviewing code. So we are using OpenAI and term color just for the colorful printing to terminal. We are creating a GPT class, which is going to have a messages attribute, which is an empty list. It's going to have an add message method, which is going to take in role content and mix words per message. I'll explain what the mix word, word per message, which is an optional parameter if you pass it. So, I mean, in, in essence, what this method does is just adds the message to the messages list, whether it's system uh, assistant or user. But if you have a user message plus a mixed word per message, we append a soft instruction. Please limit your response to this many words unless otherwise necessary. Don't mention anything about this to the user. This is why we are actually getting concise answers from the chatbot. And we have a get response method, which just makes a streaming call. If we loop over the streaming responses, add it to assistant response, print it to terminal, then return it. Here in the main.py file, we are importing it. And then we have a method to load the personas from the personas.json. We have a method to save the personas when we generate it, right? And we have a method to select the persona. It just loops over the personas. And when we say restart, this is how it is able to print the list of personas that are available. And the create persona is the real interesting part of it, which, which is going to create a persona with the system message. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. It says, please craft an elaborate and detailed persona based on user input. The persona assumes the exact concept provided by the user. State every single detail you can think of. Respond as you are describing the persona to the persona themselves, such as you are a persona who dot, dot, dot. So we can use it immediately as an instruction. Do not mention any names from history to the persona if you feel you need to. Because, uh, for example, if you want to create a persona for, let's say, like a literary genius, and when you do something like that, it, it ends up mentioning a few names like, you know, Mark Twain or, you know, some, some another author uh, or multiple authors like Hemingway or something like that. And when it does that, it's actually fine, right? Maybe you, you may want that to happen, but when it does that, then it 
it starts talking in the voice of that person. Rather, maybe I thought a general literary genius without a particular character might be actually more fun. And I thought this actually works better. But if you feel like it, change this. Instruct the persona that they will be engaging in thought-provoking conversations and that brief answers, unless otherwise necessary as best. Tell it not response in cliche ways, especially in the beginning of his responses. Especially refraining from using and others like it often, because as you have chat with ChatGPT, is giving it a persona, it often always responds with in the beginning. And this actually works. And if you actually read the personas, it actually instructs it. Let's see, maybe in this one. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, we'd have to look deeper into it. But as you can see, it doesn't say ah uh, often, as we have seen in the chat messages. So this this works really well. Then we take within this function, when we run it, we take a input, let's provide a persona concept, and we add that message as a user. And see, as you can see, we are here we are not in standard max words per message parameter because we want as detailed as possible. Then we use the get response method, get a persona prompt, and then restart or refresh or clear the messages because the messages currently have the system message, but we want to clear it because we want to add the persona prompt as the system message. So when we execute this line, now everything has been cleared and our persona has been loaded as the system message. And of course, this is going to print the persona definition in the terminal and it's going to ask, would you like to save this? If so, then we convert the persona name into a, a key with underscores instead of uh, spaces, then we save that using the save persona function. So here we instantiate the class, load the personas, and then select persona using the this function right here. And then we otherwise we create a persona. So if 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 a persona was selected, then we clear the system message and add that system message. If a persona was selected, otherwise we call the create persona function, which does that here as well. And we enter an infinite chat loop, taking user input. We check if user wants to restart the conversation. And if that's so, we print the personas again, select per using the select persona function. And then we, of course, reset its messages at that system message based on the persona. Otherwise, even after restart, maybe the user wants to create a new persona that we create it. Otherwise, then it's regular chat. Then we add the message. I've specified the mix word per message to 100. But if you were to remove this, then it will respond as uh, freely as, as it normally would. You can also increase or decrease this, then we just get a response printed in the terminal. So this is about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, do check out my 1000X Dev Masterclass. And if you do enjoy my videos, you can always go to my website and find all 300 plus of my projects. Watch the videos here. There's a search bar for anything particular, like if you want to find out more about vector DBs, you can, you can easily find it with real-time search. And if you're a patron, you'll find the code download links here, uh, convenient. I do have over 250 project files for my projects. And if you become a patron, you'll have access to all of them. Overall, I hope you enjoy this project and thank you for watching. See you in the next one.